Finally add blank until blank. Be careful. This is like the like a math question. That's like 10 times hard that needs to be. Finally add blank until blank. Be careful not to blank. Otherwise your dough might blank. Are you me? What the f does that mean? Hey, I need to, this makes no sense. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Call Me Chris and you can call me Chris and today we are Christmas cooking with the K. Chris must see what I did there? I know, I'm so smart. And I don't know what I'm cooking. That's the catch. My buddy Alex, he decided to come up with a meal, yeah. dessert. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what ingredients go into what. I don't know what I'm cooking. He's gonna tell me and I, I'm just gonna wing it. Am I good at cooking? No. We're making a, a vegan Christmas delight. And it's vegan! Am I vegan? No. The <laughs> vegan teacher is doing backflips right now. Alex is vegan though. So. You made it and I get to see it? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I have a visual. What the yeah. is that? This is the goal. Is that pie? Yeah. Is that meringue? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I don't know how to do that. Okay. Do you want to do you want to taste her now to help you, or do you want we have a sample? Okay. It's called a vegan lemon meringue pie. Oh, oh this looks beautiful. It tastes really good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know okay, what to do with this. You're going to be making the vegan lemon meringue pie. Yeah. You'll have access to a blender, a hand mixer. Usually I don't get access to those <laughs> <laughs> tools, so I'm excited now. An oven, okay. scale, a bowl, measuring cups, whisk. I don't have to use all the ingredients. No, these there are, are lots of fake ingredients. ingredients. There's fake ingredients. <laughs> This is gonna be so bad. Okay, pie crust. I don't, I've never made pie crust in my life. Okay, so it says 325 grams of blank. I'm gonna assume since that's the most, it's probably flour. And we have flour somewhere here. Gluten-free, all-purpose flour. I feel like that's probably it. Oh, I gotta measure stuff. How do you turn this on? I got this. I was a hairdresser. I don't know how to measure stuff. That's a lot. 325, that's already at 170. I can't fill this whole thing up. I can't do math. Okay, 200, 200 plus that's 125. So this is 200. Uh, oh, that's 128. Good enough. <laughs> Baking doesn't need to be exact. That's what I've heard. That's what Martha Stewart says. I feel like when you bake, usually the baking soda and the baking powder are like a little bit of a little bit of each, and that's what makes it crusty. So I'm gonna do a baking soda. I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of baking soda. I think if I be confident, it'll work. Because if you fake it, you make it. I feel like I should have some sort of panic button if I need help. You can have one hit. Okay, yay! And then we need a half or one and a half tablespoon. Wait, no, you wouldn't do one and a half tablespoons of this, would you? Okay, well, I guess that's what we're doing. One and a half tablespoon baking powder. That seems like a lot. I don't think that's right. What else do we have? Nutritional yeast. I think that's right. <laughs> that's smells disgusting. I don't think I should use cornstarch, maybe? This is Alex behind the camera. I could spend all day going through this. We're gonna do cornstarch. I have no idea. I think that's probably wrong. And then we have 114 grams. Sugar, maybe? Wait, wait, ah, uh, do, okay. No, but this needs to be like moldable. Does it not? Like this can't just all be powder. There's also instructions on the bottom. I didn't see those. <laughs> okay, combine dry ingredients in the bowl and mix. Cut blank into dry ingredients. Cut one into dry ingredients. Finally add blank until blank. Be careful. This is like the, like a math question. That's like 10 times hard that needs to be. Finally add blank until blank. Be careful not to blank. Otherwise your dough might blank. I need it. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, that smells delicious. Okay, 114 grams. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, we're good. I think this will be good. Okay, and then it says eight tablespoons of blank. You may not need all the blank. And I think that's water. Because we gotta make this wet somehow. I'm not putting pie crust in like powder form. It'd be a whole different party. You know what I'm saying? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's just looking promising. Okay, so wrap dough in a place in blank until blank. I think it's probably saran wrap. So I'm gonna put my delicious crust. I actually think I'm doing a good job. I think it's going really well. I feel like it needs more water. We're not gonna measure it. We're just gonna like add a little bit. Okay, crust and done. I'll put it in this and we'll just wrap this puppy up. Oh God. Wrap dough in place and place it in blank until blank. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the fridge because I feel like it needs to cool. Or maybe the freezer, that'd be quick now, probably the fridge. And then maybe I'll move on to the next thing. Once blank, roll dough into circle and place in pie dish. Blank the blank of the crust with a blank to prevent the crust from forming blank blank. Okay, what is 
thanks, man. I'm just gonna move on to the lemon curd for now because I think that's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna get it in the bowl. Start by zesting one blank. You will also need blank mills of blank blank. <laughs> what the f Oh, there's so many. 300 grams of blank, 65 grams, one eighth of a tablespoon. Okay, I gotta zest. Z you zest lemons, right? Or limes? Zest lemons, probably lemons. And this, I think this is right. That's probably the one eighth tablespoon. I'm not even gonna measure this. I think I know what one eighth looks like. Oh, it smells good. Do I know what one eighth tablespoon is in lemon zest? No. I'm just gonna put a lot in because I feel like it's lemon meringue pie, so it's gotta taste like lemon, you know? I feel like we would need lemon juice. There's a lot of mills. There's like 235 mills, 115 mils. This is ridiculous. What were the 300 grams? Maybe that's, I think that would be sugar. Icing sugar? It's like sweeter. I need to taste this again. Wait, this is the curd right now. Oh, zip all no. It's very sour. So I'm gonna say that's probably 115 mils of, of lemon juice. We're just gonna squirt this in here. Oh wait, is this a lemon thingy? Oh yeah. Oh, that is so f***ing efficient. This is probably so wrong. I think since it's the lemon meringue pie, we're probably adding a lot of lemons. <laughs> this is good. I think this is like close to being right. There's only one more. Oh my gosh, I gotta make this work. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I didn't read the instructions. Start by zesting. I zested. You will also need blank milk of blank of lemon juice. I'm assuming that's lemon juice. Now my hands are all lemony. Combine all ingredients except for blank in a blank. Remember to add blank so that the filling looks the part. What the f***? Is that mean? Wait, did I use the 300 grams yet? I didn't. I don't think I did. I think that needs to be sugar. 300 grams. Oh, oh God, that's too much. That's fine. We're at 305. Okay, 65 grams. What do you do? Combine all the ingredients except for blank and blank. And you heat, stir the mixture constantly. 65 grams. I feel like I, no, I shouldn't add this because it might, it might. Icing sugar, this is gonna be really sweet. Grams. Wait, how many? 65. Oh, what is it? And then we need two, 235 mils. Yogurt, yogurt? I'm sorry for wasting this yogurt. I probably don't even need to be into this. 215, 235 mils of blank. I choose butter or oat milk or water. That could be an option too. I don't really know. That's it. I already used the yogurt. You know what? I don't even care. I, I said it would curdle. Well, this would curdle. Everything's gonna curdle. And we're gonna use, what is it? 235 mils. Oh my God, I'm so special. There you go. I think that's good. And then blank of one blank. I feel like this is where cream of tartare should come in for some reason. No, that would be for the meringue, I think. Blank of one blank. I don't know. The seed of one lemon? <laughs> I'm hitting my help button. That doesn't exist. Okay, blank of one blank. Go oh, help me. I forgot there's chickpeas. How old are you with chickpeas? Just give me one. The blank of one. I want to know the second blank. Lemon. That's what I thought. But the weight of one what? Of lemon? The, of one lemon? The you have to tell me the whole thing. Zest of one lemon. Are you kidding me? I already put that in. Okay, get out. I already did that. So now I need one te teaspoon of something else because that was what the teaspoon was for. The one eighth of a teaspoon. What do I have that could thicken stuff? Okay, I'm just gonna use cornstarch. I'm gonna do one fourth teaspoon of cornstarch. Maybe I'm gonna do one eighth, which is, this is one fourth. What is this? Vanilla. We'll put some vanilla in. I feel like this will taste interesting. It won't taste good. But it'll taste interesting. Now, one eighth. What are we missing? 15 grams. <sighs> uh, yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna put flour in. Maybe that could work. Combine all ingredients except for blank in a blank. Remember to add blank so that the filling looks the part. I don't know what that means. On blank, heat stir the mixture constantly until it begins to blank. Be careful to ensure that it does not get too blank, otherwise it will be too blank or blank. If I finally add the blank and stir it all blank. I'm just gonna add 15, what is it, 15 grams of this? Yeah, sure. This is probably wrong. Oh, and now it's stuck. <laughs> We're gonna mix this. This looks so bad. I'm calling the Australian. Hit the button, you gotta come. <laughs> All right, so pers personally for me, yeah. I do think it's the turmeric. Do you? Yes, okay. because turmeric is like, it's they really... use it in dyes and stuff like that, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I, I reckon from Just try that to get it to that color. There, yeah, I think it's Probably turmeric. like a little bit at a time. I believe it's turmeric. Okay. Yep. Okay, thanks, Aldi. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit. Oh my gosh, there's little ones that say Tad, Pinch, and Dash. That's so cute. <laughs> This isn't looking good. <laughs> I guess I should smell. It smells like lemon curdy. Okay, what do I have to do? On blank heat, medium heat, stir the mixture constantly until it begins to blank. 
thicken, I'm assuming. I don't know. How do you work this thing? I think it might need like a little bit more cornstarch for it to like thicken and stuff. Where did I put that? A little bit more of this on here. I honestly don't even know if I got all the ingredients. I forget now. Maybe I should put some more turmeric in it. I don't even know what turmeric was the right thing to put in. This can't be right. Pour this in here. So it was a little pot. <laughs> On blank heat, stir the mixture constantly until it begins to blank. Be careful to ensure that it does not get too blank, otherwise it will be too blank. Or blank, finally add the blank and stir until blank. Okay, I think this is medium heat. I feel like that's right. I feel like I probably shouldn't multitask. I'm gonna forget about this and then it's gonna just boil over, get hard. Or... But I don't know what the otherwise it will be too blank or blank, finally add in blank and stir until blank. I don't know what that blank is. What's the blank I gotta add in? I have no idea what that is. I don't think it's gonna get thick at all. This is literally like it looks like miso soup otherwise it will be too blank or blank finally add in the blank and stir until blank i don't know okay it smells like lemon i'm just gonna add more of this i need it to be thick and she's not thick i'm not gonna hold back i'm just gonna go over it i don't care over it was that too much probably it's getting thick it says stir until blank finally add in and blank and stir in i don't know what that is but it's looking good let me taste this this is gonna be really hot Oh my god, I'm a chef! I'm fine with that. Look at this consistency. That's curdy. Okay, I I know I had to add something. I don't know what the fuck I had to add, but I'm not gonna add it because I don't know what it is. My crust! Oh no. Oh wait, I think that's good. What do I have to do with the crust? Once blank, roll into a circle and place into a pie dish. Blank the blank of the crust with a blank <laughs> to prevent the blank. To prevent the blank from blanking, bake for blank minutes. I'm gonna preheat the oven. Well, it says 350, so we'll just keep it on that. I feel like that's a basic baking setting. I think that's good. But I also think, oh! <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. What do I still have to make? Oh yeah, the meringue. I can do that with a spade. Once blank, roll dough into a circle and place into a pie dish. Oh, I need a pin. What is this? Oh, what? Where did that come? Oh, shit. <laughs> we got that one just for you. You want me to use that shit? I feel like I need some flour. Is this the flour? Oh, yeah. Okay. I've seen this on cooking shows where they're just like... La, 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 la. Okay, well, this is kind of working. I have faith in this crust, you know? Okay. This is like an XXX cooking show. I didn't really think this through because when I picked it up last time, it broke. I really put my, my hand, sweat, and tears into this. I'm gonna make you guys try this regardless. Crust with a blank to prevent the crust from forming. Blank, blank. Use blank on the blank to prevent the blank from blanking. Bake for blank minutes. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it in the oven. I don't know what all these blanks are saying. Ooh, she's thick. Look at that. Meringue place all ingredients into blank and blank on high until blank. Probably into a blender, into a bowl, and mix. You need to mix it. Blend it. I don't put it into a blender so I don't have to move my arm. Bring it all together, pour the blank into in the blank, and then put add the blank to the top. Blank in the blank until blank. Jesus Christ. It says for the meringue, uh, one can of, it actually says it. It says aquafaba, but I don't know what the hell aquafaba is, and there's nothing here that says aquafaba. Pushing the Aussie button again. Aquafaba is the brine of chickpeas. The brine of chickpeas. Oh God. Oh, okay, so I have to put this whole, I have to put this in a blender. You know what? I'm just gonna. This, Jesus Christ almighty, I'm trying to okay, what, how do you turn this off? Oh, your blender almost killed me. I don't even know how long to put that in for. I'm just putting the can of chickpeas in here. There we go. That's good. The hell else do I have to put in here? We have to put in 150 grams of, this is for meringue. 150 grams, uh, probably sugar, powdered sugar. I'm gonna assume it's powdered sugar. Okay, 150 grams. We are going full speed now. That in there, boom, half a teaspoon. I'm gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna put some of this in, half a teaspoon. I don't even know what cream of tartare is. I mean, half a teaspoon. What makes things whippy? Oh my God, shut up, I'm not ready. You know what, I'll just multitask. This goes in here. Let's say for, I don't know. Uh, let's do 10 minutes and see how that goes. Grams, tablespoon, uh, one eighth tablespoon, half a teaspoon. None of this makes sense for this. I'm just gonna put them directly. I don't even care anymore. Oh God, <laughs> I'll just do half a lemon. Oh, and you know what, for shits and giggles, I'm gonna put some zest in too. It doesn't even, I don't know if that's meant, I don't know if this is right. And one eighth taste food. I don't know what else to use. I have no idea. Should I just blend it and see what happens? That looks so wrong. <laughs> it smells, oh my God, It's it smells like baby's vomit. Well, I'm not supposed to use all the chickpeas. 
This is one can worth of aquafaba. And what's aquafaba? What's aqua? Say it with like what's aqua. Water. It was the chickpea water that I put down the sink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna um, cry. <laughs> okay, well, I'm screwed. Is there anything else in there? Just chickpeas. No, there's a lot of powdered sugar. I knew no. that didn't make sense. It's your oh, happy I got day. redemption. My can of redemption. <laughs> what does this do? I'm just gonna pour it in the bowl and then I'm just gonna pour it on the thing. Oh, I see. holy shit balls. I'm special. Now we're not gonna use the chickpeas, is what I'm told. There we go, we'll save those for a different, it's something else, I don't know. We're gonna pour this into this fantastic. This makes so much more sense. And then we're gonna use 150. I'm sorry, I'm wasting so many ingredients. I gotta put some cream of tartare in there, half a tablespoon. Let's see if there's any more. And then it says half a teaspoon of something else, but I don't even know what that would be. I'm just gonna mix this. I don't, where's my thing? This is gonna work. <laughs> I hate this so much. Shut up. Oh, can we set a timer for 10 more minutes? Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can stop setting the timer. Wait, 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 well, I do like a crusty pie. It's so big. It looks like there should already be filling in there, but it's not. It's just crust. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave that, and this is not frothing at all. Here. Moving on. Okay, bringing it together. Pour the blank in the blank, let chill, and then add the blank, which I'm assuming is this. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. It's not meringue. But we have this curd, and it's like pretty curdy. I'm like excited about this curd. Let me taste it. I think it's good. The pie crust, on the other hand, not so good. How thick is this? I kind of want to taste it. She's crumbly. It, uh, it's crunchy. I think I have to pour this into there. Oh my gosh. It's kind of aesthetically pleasing though. Is there room in the fridge? I'll help clean up. Okay, now we wait, right? We just wait. We have a jiggly soupy pie. I'm going to pour my liquid meringue into and we're gonna throw it in the fridge and uh, hope to Jesus something happens. It looks cool. I'm not mad at it. I know it's gonna taste like shit. It's a big mm. <laughs> oh, I poured too much. At the end, pour the blank in the blank. Let chill and then put add the blank to the top blank in the blank until, oh, do you put it in the oven? Putting the pie in the oven. Put this in and pray to every God there is. Yay! We have the first pie, the proper pie. It's so beautiful. And then my pie. <laughs> She's extra crispy and it's mobile. It's like alive inside. It's like a science experiment. I'm excited to try this and have, have the people behind the cameras try this too because you're not safe, not any of you. So let's do this. I think I created a new thing. Oh God. <laughs> There's no... I'm just gonna like cut this. Look at the crook. <laughs> Hey! Yeah! Okay, there's color. There's good color there. That's okay. Okay. Maybe we get a little, <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> We're gonna taste test this and see and see what people think. You know what? I like it. I think it's good. We're gonna rate it out of 10. I think that is a 6.5 out of 10. You guys can be the judges of this. Oh wow. It's like clay. <laughs> But you know what, in terms of flavor. Right? It's kind of there. It's like really hard to swallow, but <laughs> the flavor is very good. Like if I was at a wedding and I was really scared of like upsetting the family, I would eat it, <laughs> but I would rate it a four. Okay. Yeah. I love the crust. And I just got a really big serving of crust. <laughs> it was really good. Super, okay. You know what, I'm gonna go with your six. I'm gonna go for more. Oh. <laughs> because that, the lemon pot's really nice. It's nice. And I know I didn't put in the right ingredients for that. Good. We got a six and a four, so we got a five out of ten so far. It's, it's actually really good. Shut up! <laughs> well, it's the same flavor, it's just the crust is Okay, thank you. Me. Yeah, I think the lemon's kind of there. If you didn't call it a pie, you'd go there. It's like a loaf of bread with like lemon sauce. Yeah. I don't really like meringues. So. Uh, there, well, that's okay, that's okay. Neither that's do I, and I actually kind of like both of them. <laughs> so much hesitation. Flavor-wise, I'll take it okay. The crust is a little dry. She's a little dry. Do you know which ingredient you forgot in the crust? No. Butter? Yes. Let's go with a four. That's fair. All right, well, I had fun. I hope you guys did too. <laughs> this pie is very sad. It's probably, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll take it home. Maybe somebody will eat it. I probably won't. But if you like the video, <laughs> buy the camera. Please like the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. If you want to know when my next video is, those sirens, they're coming to take my pie. It's a crime against humanity. But I will see you in the next next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.